Tom's touting for students. Gimme, gimme, gimme in ten minutes here on BBC Two. First, getting irreverent and at times fairly offensive. Not another programme about TV ads. Hi, honey, I'm high. My name is Victor, I am a TV critic, and I live in your television set. Tonight, Ads Infinitum looks at holidays again, but this time abroad. Holidays abroad? Never again. Oh no, not you again. Third time we've been, third time we've had tummy trouble. Diacalm for you. Diacalm beats holiday tummy troubles fast. Where was I? Oh yes. These are the last beans you'll have for a fortnight. We won't get any in that Continental Hotel. Nobody ever really wanted to travel abroad because British food was so delicious. I want to be sick. Ralph. Look at her. She certainly thought all foreign food was mac. Hurry, Colin. We're ready to go. Incidentally, I played the boy in this ad and she... She sexually molested me between scenes and also taught me these elementary secret suitcase packing skills which later led me to become the country's most notorious smuggler of crack cocaine from Bolivia. We couldn't go without beans for two weeks, Mum. Which is where I met my charming wife, who's now known to millions as Vanessa Feltz. Vanessa, your career is finished and a ha, 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 ha. I've not been very well. I need a holiday in an exotic location. Go somewhere that's beautifully unchanged. Yugoslavia. Uh, oh, sorry. Yugoslavia, somewhere that's beautifully unchanged. She means... Somewhere that's unbeautifully changed. New roads and motorways. Dangerous overseas locations, your bag. Time for... The campaign they wish they had never done of the week. From Belfast. And the toast is... The bride in a gown from the Jean Miller Bridal Salon. On that special day, we'll dress your little lady to look like a princess. Shocking. Still, there is one venue across the sea that's even rougher. So rough, in fact, that the restaurants sell broken leg of lamb. It's Ibiza. Welcome to the unique island of Ibiza. Ibiza. Unique for its universal appeal as advertised on The TV Travel Shop, which shows you fantasy a bit, so rather than show you the reality inhabited by this. 88 priapic stones of teeth and testosterone covered in brute aftershave, hair gel, sangria, spunk and dried vomit who wear gold chains around their neck to tell them where to stop shaving. Ladies, I give you your future husbands. And is only five minutes away from the airport, which can lead to some plane noise. You might think you're flying away to a foreign culture, but you're really just going to an English ghetto, colonised by Brits, with the accent on colon, or I should say colon, because they all get... They all get the runs when they go abroad, unlike English cricketers, who get no runs at all when they go abroad. But why go abroad for sun and blue sea when you could fly back to England and enjoy rain and Gracie instead? Here's your tea, Miss Sales. Oh, thank you. Gosh, isn't this exciting? I do envy you your job. Serving tea? But at 20,000 feet. Yes, I must admit, I do love it. And I suppose for holidays you can stop off anywhere you like in the world. Well, I could, but I don't. I always go to Butlins. Instead of Honolulu? Yes, you see, Butlins can never, never be a letdown. Well, if you like Butlins, I'm sure I would. I'll write when I get back. Stop smiling, please. Stop. Stop it, the wind will change and you'll be stuck like that forever. Stop it. I'm warning you, stop it. Stop it! Stop it! Where was I? Oh, yes. Ibiza. There are beaches of all sorts for family, sporting, solitary, wild, tranquil. What's that noise? Oh, I know. It's the sound of the bullshit ometer needle breaking. It's for you to decide. I like Ibiza. Ibiza. So sorry, Ibiza. And I think it's great. On the Holiday Channel, the presenters don't just rely on knee-jerk cliches about, say, comfortable bedrooms. Bedrooms are comfortable with ensuite facilities. The apartments are very comfortable, one or two, including comfortable bedrooms with ensuite facilities. Look no further than Ibiza. Ibiza. That's the fantasy. This is the reality. Ibiza. Ibiza. Sorry. 
Ibiza. Once inside your hotel, you'll find that your shoebox-sized room stinks of untreated sewage, which flows in picturesque open gutters towards the glorious Mediterranean Sea. Why not enjoy our luscious beaches, decorated with fresh bowel movements, which are washed up daily, along with hundreds of empty syringes and condoms, each used once only. Then there's the German scum too. Why not? Wenn man wie ich die 30 erreicht hat und schon einige Falten die Stirn haben, sich auf dieser zu zeigen, so reibe man sich früh morgens nicht zu spät Morpheus Arme aus den Augen. Nein, meine Damen und Herren, auch ein deutscher Wald, auch hier der Schwarzwald, ist ja auch etwas Schönes, nicht? Man schreitet hinein. Und da ein Reh, ein Contra. Ja, und deswegen braucht man nicht immer gleich ins Ausland zu reisen. Nein. I bought a dog the other day, I named him Stay. It's fun to call him. I say, come here, stay, come here, stay. He's going insane. <laughs> Ow! I bit my tongue, I think there's blood. Tune around to the other channels where I search for my styptic pencil. Mummy, mummy! A lighted rag smartly inserted through the sound hole of the Baskers' guitar can be guaranteed to cramp their style. Look deep, deep into the circle and continue to obey me. You will... Where were we? Oh yes, Ibiza. Why is Ibiza the only abroad that we British visit? Well, it's because we haven't got the guts to walk into Lumpoly and ask to book a holiday in foreign places with names like these. Twat in the Shetland Islands, Tits in Germany, Cumbum in India, Pervy Shag in Russia. I mean, would you send a postcard from... From Wank? They make advertisements for the place too. This year, why not come to Wank in Bavaria? The fun never stops in Wank. Skiing, partying, there just aren't enough hours in the day to enjoy the full wank experience. Set in beautiful Garmisch Partenkirchen. Finally, if you do holiday abroad, remember the food will probably be foreign, so remember to pack a trunk full of sliced British loaves. Or even better, buy a bread making machine from the Idiots Channel, QVC. This is today's special value. This is Alison Dubois. Hello. I love Hello. your name. Madame Dubois, Monsieur. How are you, both? Dubois, off wood, I think that means. It does. Or even better than that, do what I do. Phone them and pretend to be a drunk driver called <laughs> Ernie from Dagenham. Well, why are you doing that, actually? Let's go to the telephone lines and talk to Ernie from Dagenham. Hi, Ernie, how are you? I'm literally great, Dave. Thanks very much for taking the time to have a chat. It's literally a pleasure, mate. Uh, You've got, you got yourself today's special value, have you? I'm literally on the M25 in my car, mate. Oh, right. I'm doing 90 and I've had a few drinks. Literally. <laughs> Shut it, Keegan! Hold on, Dave, some wanker just cut me up. Oi! Um... Um... He was killed. Marion was distraught, beside herself. I couldn't console her. I, I didn't understand. I hadn't experienced grief. Then a real stroke of luck. A week later, my grandfather dropped dead. Marion and Jeff starts tomorrow at 9.50 on BBC Two.